Okay, Matt Mike here. Professor, uh, what what's this? This this little peach you're looking at here. This is a, uh, a Workman electric truck. Um, we think maybe sometime in the '80s. Definitely like hairband era. Nice. Um, That's my era. Yeah, we've been looking. We've been looking for like either a little golf cart or a little you know all-terrain vehicle, something that we can have students. Um, practice towing the trailer around the parking lot, and then also for us to just backing be able to up, backing up, practice backing <laughs> up, thinking about like blacking out the whole back window and making them use wind, you know, rear view mirrors and all that. Um, and also, we want something just to kind of cruise up and down the marinas. Oh, go to the hardware store. Go to the hardware store. Marinas. We live in a town where this is this is acceptable. So yeah, so we've been looking online, and like everything's been kind of like pricey. too ex pricey for what what we're trying to get. So we found this free. Now we've also talked about free is never free, but we're willing to put a little something in here. Um, Maybe and, more than little. Well, and the you know the vintage. I mean, yeah, there's some there's some stuff. There's no batteries. We're gonna have to do batteries. But I mean, this is. I mean, I, I call this authentic learning for my electricians. Totally. And 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 just the the you know antique beauty of this thing. Um, it's got a lot of character. Paint it up, put some scallywag stickers. Yeah, we were thinking scallywag stickers, flags, boom, maybe oh. some ghost flames. Yeah, yeah. Um, so our job now, we're just uh, down here in one of the yards in Anacortes. And uh, assessing, is this crazy or not? Yeah, yeah, this thing's just been obviously forgotten for a decade or so. Um, but it's ours if we want it. So we're going to see if we can put some air in the tires and then... Uh, Brakes. Uh, we're going to check brakes, yep, and see if we can just tow her. You That'd know, be ideal. Toward back to the school, but uh, otherwise we'll get a flatbed. We'll get a flatbed if need be. Um, so stay tuned. This is going to be a fun one. Business, baby. Uh, went up to our, our friendly local Les Schwab's and they they put some air in her for, for uh, free. So free, there. Good guys, free. good guys Great up guys. there. So let's see what we can do. Might actually get her going down the road. Uh, Still don't know about brakes, but we'll cross that bridge when we need to. So we got a three wheel wagon now. Yeah, just up towards that boat and let's coast and then, yeah, and then slow down. I'll see if I can break. Just wondering how low it is if we should. I saw that. That's 
still up there a little ways. Is there any air left in this thing? One more shot. Because <laughs> we can always go get more air, right? Right, yeah. But just give her a little bit more. And oh, it's cool because you're out like over the front tire, you know? Oh, yeah. Legit. Welcome to the Scallywags, located in the beautiful Pacific Northwest, where Skagit Valley College has been training technicians since 1968. If you are looking for industry certification and the skills to work in maritime, this is the place to visit. Our staff will share so much knowledge and experience, you will not be disappointed. The workforce demand is very high and all of our graduates are working around the world. If this sounds interesting to you, schedule a tour and come check us out. In front of the middle bay, because there's just in the front of that middle bay. Just set it right there for now. Oh. Look what we found, Charlie. Wow. You want to spot him under there? It's got a good frame, but just make sure he's not going to hit the motor or anything. Yeah, I just want to dodge the motor. Uh, I think a whole lot of wires hanging down. Yeah, we don't worry about those. You're going to want to go lower. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, you're good there. Yeah, I think I'd just put it in front of there under cover and we'll go. Yeah, you're solid. Pretty good center. Yeah, look at that. Turns out it works. Got her here. <laughs> <laughs> that could have been an option just driving the forklift down and grabbing it. Fair enough. A little, a little bow heavy in there. A little you know? bow heavy. You got her. A little bow heavy. It's easy. All right, I'm excited. That was brilliant. It's uh, electric. <laughs> it's electric. Toter here. Uh, brakes, I think, were kind of locked up. Uh, we didn't catch on fire or anything. I didn't smell smoke. No. Nope. But I never had to push the brakes, <laughs> so it kept a nice and tight line the whole the whole tow here. We went what a mile and a half. Mile and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No police or anything like that. So. Yeah. Well, follow us along. We're gonna. Assess it first, but I think we're gonna fix this up. Put some college stickers. I mean, it's gonna be awesome. It's happening. The steering work. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, I think she's gonna need a brake job, new tires, Definitely new some batteries, 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 some wiring, That's maybe some blinkers, a couple nice. Maybe we got some students. Batteries are in our wheelhouse, man. Yeah, yeah. man. So this this thing's a sweetheart. What a deal. Spent most of the money on the paint job. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> More than we paid for it. Yep. All right. Thanks Absolutely. for watching.